So we have something called account table and customer table. Okay, this is an example for the many-to-many -many relationship, customer table and account table. This single account, yeah, maybe right. Let's you know, let's put it this way. Uh, your customer can have more than one account. Let's say I have a savings account and I have a current account. Maybe right. Uh, uh, there are customers they have more than two accounts also. A single customer can have multiple bank accounts. The same bank itself they can have multiple bank accounts. One is for savings account, other one is for current account. Maybe you know they have some other accounts. Okay, uh, they may be having some other account. Uh, like a single customer can have multiple accounts. Each account number can also be held by more than one customer. Do you agree with me or not? Each account can be held by more than one joint account. So me and my mother have a joint account. Okay. For both of us, the account number remains the same. So uh, an account number can be held by a single account number can be held by more than one customer and each customer can have more than one account number in a bank. This is an example for many-to-many -many relationship. So here each um, table have right many-to-many -many relationship. I just go to the model view here. Look here, you have an account table and you have the customer table. And if you see here, each customer can have more than one bank account. And also, there are possibilities that each account can be held by more than one customer in the case of joint account. So mother and son, uh, husband and uh, wife and um, business partners, they, they have a joint account, something like that, okay? So, so in that case, right, you have a many-to-many -many relationship between these two tables, account and customer. You have a many-to-many -many relationship which is between these two. And uh, now the question is, um, okay, now the question is, um, I want to use my account table to filter the customer dimension table and customer dimension, You, I want to use it to filter this table. Is it possible to do the filtering? because you don't have any direct relationship exists between these two tables. Apart from this, we have a transaction table. So each account, uh, you know, what is the balance is there, right? How much amount got uh, debited, how much amount got uh, credited. So end of the day, balance amount. Each account wise, balance you have it. Uh, account wise, um, date wise, balance you have in this transaction table. But here, when it comes to the these two tables, for example, you wanted to Use your account table to filter the customer table and vice versa. That is not possible because these two tables do not have common column exists between these two tables, right? Here you have account, account ID, but here you don't have the customer ID. Whereas here you have the customer ID and customer, but here you don't have the account ID. Then how you can filter these two tables, right? You cannot do that. But account table can filter this table. That is possible. And even, even in this case, right, the customer ID is not there here. Hence, the customer table cannot filter this table. Okay. Since there exists a many-to-many -many relationship between account and customer, each account can be held by more than one customer and each customer can have more than one account. All right. So what we need to do is we need to introduce something called many-to-many -many relationship. Sorry, bridge table. This is a many-to-many -many relationship. The account and customer table have a many relationship. To implement this, you need to have a bridge table. The bridge table will contain the key column from both the table. The primary key column here is account ID. Here the customer ID is the primary key. Right? The primary key column from both the table, we put it in a common table that is called your bridge table. In this table, the account ID can have duplicates. In customer ID column, can have a duplicates here. Right here, the combination of account ID and customer ID. So maybe, right, we can say composite key, account ID and customer ID. Okay. So the, with the combination of these two, you, you have something, you know, like this table. Okay. So this is also called as a bridge table. 
what do you mean by bridge table anybody has um, any idea about bridge table in the case of many to many relationship to implement that you need to have a bridge table this is a universal concept it is not specific to power bi desktop so this is a universal concept okay so you need to have a many to many relationship here yes uh, i have created this bridge table sorry to to uh, overcome say to in the case of implementing many to many relationship you need to have a bridge table it is also called as a tank junction table okay here in this table you need to have the key columns from both the tables okay now since you have the customer id column here you can use this table to filter this table and you have the account id here you can use this account id to filter this table okay filter this table supposing when i ask you a question or somebody is asking can you give me the uh, the balance right account balance by account id right so you can use these two tables to create a report okay suppose somebody is asking you can you give me the customer wise balance right to okay. display the customer name uh, along with with them you display the display their balance This is signing. Something is not wrong, so no. Either it get launched with many instances or not at all launched. I think my system is running out of memory. Either I close this one because when I draw this, you should be able to understand. Otherwise, uh, for non IT people, it's difficult to understand. Mm -hmm. Just a big one. So you have a two table right here. 
So you have the account table here. Mm, let me just right now the color picker and this is the one is there is no filler, right? Okay. Better, I can use the yeah, you have something like this, and you have something else. Two tables this is your account table, this is your customer table. In this case, um, you know, we are going to have an additional table. Okay, what I will do is uh, I just put this one here. Okay, something wrong with my system. Okay, at last I got this one. So I'm going to click on this one and I'm going to put another table here. Okay. So here I just say this is mine. Sorry guys, my system is hanging. Just give me a second. Sir, it's not changing. Oh, okay, very much. So here, okay, better let me go here and I'll show you something. So this is my account table, okay? Let's say, uh, you know, the account number is uh, 1001. Let's say 1001, a single account, and the customer ID is you know, C001 and C002. Mother and son, okay? The account ID 1001 is held by two customers. The same account ID is held by two customers because joint account, okay? The, you know, right? And this guy is having, in addition to this account ID, he has another account 1002, okay? There's another account ID. Okay, so in this case, the account, each uh, account number can be held by more than one customer and each customer can have more than one account ID here. Okay, more than one account ID with the same bank. So here, the situation is both the, in the, in the case of joint account, okay, in the case of the 1001, it's a joint account. You just think that, you know, this is a joint account. So here, right, so both of them put together, which, you know, in, in this joint account, they have uh, something like, um, you know, 1,000 rupees balance is there. Okay, and so in this 1,000 rupees balance 
is applicable for both, right? This thousand rupees balance for applicable for both. Okay. But um, if I so let you know, if I ask you, what is the account balance of this customer C002? You will say thousand. Okay. And when I ask you what is the account balance of C001, so he has thousand rupees balance in his account in the joint account, as well as in 1002, he has let you know uh, 500 rupees he has plus. So 500 plus thousand. If I ask you individually, uh, each customer what is the account balance? So when it comes to C001, so here he has thousand because he's part of joint account, thousand rupees balance is there. And here 500, 1500. So C001 balance is 1500. But C002, if I ask you separately, you will say 1000. Is it clear? But in this case, if I add these two things together, does it make sense? No, right? Does not make any sense because 1000 rupees here and the 1000 rupees here is a common, right? So 500. So actually speaking, 1500 should be there. Right, both put together total account balances 1500. But individually, customer wise, if you see the account balance, C001 is having a joint account. In the joint account, he has 1000 rupees, plus he has another account there, he has 500, 1500. But C002 also joint account 1000 rupees balance is there. But when I um, ask you the question, something like uh, 1002, what is the account balance in 1001? You will say thousand one zero zero two. You will say thousand five. Same thing, right? Thousand five. One zero zero account number is held by this customer only. Okay. Uh, but here, sorry, in this case, five hundred, not uh, thousand five hundred, five hundred, right? So one zero zero one because it's a joint account, thousand rupees uh, balance is there in this one zero zero two as five hundred only. Okay, when I ask you account balance by account number, when I ask you the account balance with customer ID, the, out, the, the, the output of the both reports are different. Okay, so you need to display something else. In this case, it is pretty straightforward because the account table can filter your transaction table directly because both the table, you have the account ID column is there. Hence, we have created a relationship. It is a one-to-many relationship. But whereas here, right, the customer dimension table or customer table cannot filter this table because there is no common column exists between these two. Hence, we were unable to create the relationship directly here. So what we did, we have created a uh, the junction table or the bridge table. So via the bridge table, the customer ID can filter the account customer's table's customer ID. And also, this table should filter this table using the account ID. Okay. This account ID will be propagated here. This customer ID will be propagated here. Since the customer is propagated here, this table can filter this table. Since you have the account ID column here, this table can filter back this one. If you have to filter back, obviously you need to have the bi-directional relationship. Just keep that in mind. Okay. So this table has to filter this one. Since this table can filter this table with account ID, this account ID can filter this table. So if I wanted to see the customer wise balance, account balance, right? Customer wise balance, okay? So in the case, uh, it has to, the customer table has to traverse, to traverse through these two tables because it's not, uh, you know, it doesn't have direct relationship, right? It has to traverse through this table only. So it, in this case, it is a little bit um, tricky. So we have the bridge table created here. Bridge table. Because to you know uh, overcome this one, right? You can have a bridge table here. Okay. And then um, this is different. See, don't get confused, Supriya. So, See, there, right, we have the sales fact table and a location dimension table. And then you have the customer dimension table, right? Customer dimension table. So these tables have a you know link with the common table, but here not both the table have direct relation. Only this table has a by direct relation. Here it is not. But if you see these two tables, right? Ideally, we want to see a customer-wise, account-wise balance. Okay. So in that case, you know, don't. So in this case, we create a bridge table. 
the bridge table contains the key column from both the tables. What is the primary key column? Account ID here and customer ID. That is what the, that is what I meant. Key columns. Okay. And here, uh, this is how you need to implement. So if you want your customer table to filter this one, you know it it has to filter uh, the transaction table via these two tables. Okay. But the challenge here is uh, yes, this table can filter this table. Uh, this table can filter this table. Uh, okay. But um, uh, to for this requirement, customer wise account balance, this table has to filter back this table. Hence, you need to enable this bi direction relationship. So, here I manually configured the, uh, the, uh, the cross filter as both property as both. Okay. So, both direction by bi direction relationship. Hence, it can filter back this table and this table in turn filter this table and then can right get back uh, the customer is account balance. Got it? I just show you the data now. A very simple data, less number of records so that you can understand quickly here. So my account table, look here in the account table, I have, um, sorry, okay. There are two account number, 100 or not one. This is like, you know, some John and uh, Maria, okay. John and Maria and 100 or not one. And if I go to the customer uh, table, uh, so that's the account number. Okay, this is the, um, sorry, sorry, it's not, uh, John and Maria, this is account number, okay, account number. This is maybe a savings, a joint account. It's a current account, okay, something like that. Here, the customer table have uh, the customer ID. 100 is John, sorry, 91 is John and 92 is Maria, okay. So, here, if I go to the transaction table, we have the date column, account ID. So, you see here, 100, the account ID 100 as uh, two values here, right? So they, they deposited 1,000 and then they withdrew 500 rupees. So if I ask you in the account ID, what is the total balance? 1,000 minus 500 is 500 only is here. And 101, you know, it's a 350. This is another account ID. Okay, another account ID. Okay, this is a transaction table. And you have the bridge table, account, customer. Yeah, this is the bridge table. The bridge table, you can make out very clearly. So 92, right? 91 and 92 have a joint account, 100. And uh, the 92, right? This guy, in turn, have another account. Then. So 92 is a John and 91 is a Mary, okay? So both these people have a joint account, uh, son, mother and son. And also, son have uh, you know his son has another account, another account called one not one you know so right so one not one so that is what you can say. So in this case, you need to you have to have this table bridge table in order for the customer table to filter this. And you want to see the customer wise account balance, account wise balance. So I just uh, go to the report view, and then I just show you with the report that I created in the interest of time. It's being loaded. Let's wait for some time. Look here. Instead of going back and forth, right? If I want to see that data that are available in my account table and customer table, I have to click on the table view. I have to go there and come back. We lose sight, right? So holistic sight, you will lose it. So what I did, I just created a table view. In the table view, the account uh, number, this account number, this is the amount, okay? And this is the customer name. And, uh, you know, each customer, what is the? amount they have it okay so the, the customer zero one and uh, customer zero to both put together thousand minus 500 500 balance they have it okay mm, yeah actually this is these are the tables here yeah so these are the tables 
Mm, yeah, here it shows the you know the, the the actual report. Okay, here you can make out this is account table, this is customer table, this is your uh, account customer table, this is your transaction table. And if you see here very clearly, I'll explain it one more time. See, 91 uh, is having a joint account with 92. That account ID is 100. Okay. And uh, in addition to that, this 92 has another account ID for 101. Okay. So these two are joint account. Joints, maybe right, joint savings account. This one is a current account. Okay. Current account. So 92 is John. And 91 is Mary. Okay. The customer ID is 91 is Mary. So Mary and John have a join, joint account. That account ID is 100. And the join, sorry, join, John, right? In addition to the joint account, he has another account. That is his current account. The current account is that. So now we will go and check the transaction table here. The account ID 100, right? So you can see that initially 1000 rupees they deposited. Later on, they have withdrawn 500. So net net in the account ID 100, you will have only 500 balance. Only 500 balance will be having it. And 101, 350. 101, this account ID 101 is held by whom? John. Okay, John is a current account. So account wise balance is fine, great. Okay, because the account table has to filter this table, we are getting this one. Next one, customer wise balance. Customer wise balance, if you see here, the, uh, the 91 and 92. So, right, so in that case, uh, 91 is customer zero, what? Customer zero is, let's say, you know, um, Mary. And 1000 minus 500 is 500, right? There are two transactions happen. So 1000 minus 500 is 500, correct. And um, customer to John, right? So John is 101. He has 350 plus the 500 in the joint account, right? 500 plus 350 is 80. So for this report, you have to create a bridge table between the account table and the customer table like this. This is your bridge table. With the help of the bridge table, the customer table can navigate to uh, your transaction table via the account customer table and the account table. Got it? So, so for that reason only, we have to create a many relationship because the customer table, you cannot directly link it with your uh, account transaction table, right? So these are the issues. Okay, for that reason, we have to, so again, it depends on your requirement. You need to, you know, you need to uh, tailor make your model design. Secondary cursor. So in your, you need to tailor make your uh, the model. Okay, if your model is not correct, then you cannot produce this report. And if you see the total here, it shows 850. In this case, it makes sense. But here 850, right? It is not correct. Can you say it is not correct? But it is correct only because uh, here, right? 500, here also 500 is common, right? 500 plus 50, 850 is correct in this case, okay? It's correct. But uh, when you, you are not, when you add it blindly, these two things, it will show different value, but it is not doing that mistake. Because it knows very well, customer 01 and customer 02 both you know, hold over 500 only. Okay, so in this case, this guy has 500 plus the other account 350, 850 yes. So, but if I add this, it will not make sense. It is not doing that mistake, right? So in order to uh, and, uh, and arrive this accurate report, you need to design your model uh, in such a way, right? Okay, this is uh, one of the examples wherein you can, or the use cases wherein you need to design your own model like this uh, to create a report like this. Okay, and but here uh, one more um, takeaway is you need to enable bi-directional relation between these two tables. 
because um, the customer table can filter this table. This table has to filter back this table. So usually, uh, in the case of um, the junction table or the bridge table, both the tables key columns should be there. Here the account ID is there. Here customer ID is there. Hence, one to manage the the account ID will uh, flow from account table down to your account customer, and the customer ID will flow from here to here. So it will happen only the left to right, left to right. But um, in order to achieve the second report, right, customer wise balance, this table needs to filter back this one. For that reason only, we have enabled the by the cross filter direction as both. So nothing but the by direction filter. Okay, so. So this is one of the use cases. Other use cases, uh, we have something on order fact and fulfillment fact. So both of them are fact table. The fact table have, you know, so you, here you have uh, the transaction data, you also have transaction data. So you have, here, you know, I have created the relationship between these two tables as order ID. And if you see both, next to both the tables, you can see star, star. That means the many to many relationship. Right, that means a many to many relationship. Okay, many to many. So here, uh, the order ID, you know, link with this order ID. So in this case, I just show you the data here. I don't know why I'm abstracting this one. Just give me a second. Yes, Dinesh, I will just type it. Give me a second, Dinesh. Okay, see here, uh, one second. Here, uh, the order ID, okay, I, okay, I just go to the data so that you'll be able to understand. So what I did um, here, I just put the data also in different end. So instead of, you know, going and checking uh, the table view, right? That's a painful thing. I just go here directly to the report view. Okay, I just clicked on it, right? So cross filter direction both, right? Okay, I just here itself we can see in the latest version. So cardinality is many to one. So here many to one second. So that is for the account customer account. Sorry, I just uh, you know so look here the cross filter direction both I put it in, right? So we need to enable it because you are bridge table has to filter this one. Any of that scenario we already discussed. The second scenario is this one. The order fact and this thing, I just go back to the report uh, view. Let's uh, wait for a few seconds. It's uh, hanging.
Okay. Uh, now I just uh, go back to page uh, four. Three to get up page four, yeah, that is the one you see here. Three, yeah. Okay, this is the one. Look here. Uh, here I have something like um. I think we need to look at the data there. For example, we are, we are talking about order fact table, and then the fulfillment table. Okay, both of them are fact table. In both the table, the order ID column has a duplicate values in it. Why? For example, you see here in the order ID one zero zero one. Order line ID, right? So you have two items. They order two items. So uh, 1001, line and or line item key is one. So product here they purchased five quantity. Okay. In the order ID 1001, order line ID two, they purchased another product called product B. So here they purchased 10 items. Okay. So 10 items. So uh, the scenario here is not necessarily right so you know though the customer ordered two products in the same order ready not necessarily the two products can be shipped uh, in a single shipment right not necessarily or need not to be shipped in a single so with a single order all the products whatever you uh, raised it right need not to be shipped in a single shipment for example today they shipped a product a and after two days you know they are shipping product B. To track that, we have another table called fulfillment table. The fulfillment table, you have you know, the, the unique ID is there, but here the composite is fulfillment ID and order ID. And here, if you see here, 1001 uh, order, see product A, they shipped only two. So actually, they ordered five item, but uh, they were able to ship only two now, and the remaining uh, orders, remaining quantity, they shipped it in another shipment. Fulfillment ID is something like shipment ID. Okay, in the 50. Dinesh, what you do is you put that scenario based on a separate uh, thing here. Okay. So here, uh, 1001, the single order, uh, right? So we have two products and uh, one product, right? They shipped it two now and later point they're shipping the remaining three products and also later point in time, they ship the second product uh, 10 items. Okay, actually 10 and 5 products, 10 and 5 units they ordered in product A and product B. But what happened in product A, they shipped only two items now because they don't have stock. Five I, units, they don't have stock. Instead, they shipped only two now. Later point in time, they are shipping remaining item three. Okay, three. And then uh, the... And the another so the product, right? Product B, 10 they ordered, but they ordered, they shipped it in another shipment. Uh, in one go, they shipped 10. Okay. Here, they wanted to see how many uh, items they uh, each order, how, ma how many items they ordered, how many items they shipped. That is the reporting requirement. The single re report itself, they want to see how many items got fulfilled. And how many items got shipped? And here, if you see here, 1001 fulfillment ID is 50. Uh, okay, this is the one here, actually. This is the one, final report. So here, I have used the product description from my product uh, table. Okay, product table, because I used another product table here. And then the quantity is coming from this table. Order fact uh, in the fulfillment quantity comes from another. So the quantity and fulfillment quantity, these two comes from two different fact table itself. Fact table is a many side. Right? But when you create a relationship, since it's a many to many relationship, a single order can have multiple shipment. And... Um, uh, we can say a yeah, single order can have multiple line items 
and each line item can have multiple shipment and uh, each uh, shipment can have uh, you know the same order id right so more than one order id each shipment can have more than one order id so, so that also possible right so you have ordered um, um, products in two different times in this week okay week um, first let's you know 7th of july and 10th of july you raise two order the two orders related to product they shipped it together in one shipment so each uh, fulfillment id can have more than one order id and each order id can have more than one shipment id so you have a many to many relationship here but here in this case obviously we have to have a bridge table that is the universal rule if you go to any project you have to have a bridge table uh, to deal with many to many relationship but when it comes to power bi so that is the power of power bi okay i just uh, double click on it when i drag and drop the order ready it automatically create a star star here without even having a bridge table you can use your order fact table to filter another fact table which is fulfillment fact table here so here many to many it detects automatically but it gives you the message right some warning message but still cross filter direction if you click on the drop down here You click on the drop down here you can see order fact table filters fulfillment one option is the single okay and then fulfillment table you want to filter it order fact table or both no here i want the order fact table to filter the fulfillment table i just selected this first one okay and then um i could see this one right So it created, you know, like this, and because of this, right now it is filtering it perfectly. So in addition to this, I've used the product dimension table, product ID, product guard length. Now what I did, I just do, you know, uh, brought the product description, my product table, and the quantity from my order fact table, fulfillment quantity from my fulfillment table. So all the three we are able to display it in a single table that is possible because of uh, the the many to many relation which we created. So in our case, we have filtered the fulfillment fact table using our order fact tables order ID. So now we see the product A, 15, and product B, 15, they ordered. So these two, they ordered in, uh, in a single order. And if you see overall 20 products, right, 20 products. And here, uh, the fulfillment quantity was uh, 15, okay, 15. And product C was 6, and the fulfillment quantity was 5. So I you know, but still, right? One more item they are to ship it. That is what we can see. You can go and check with the data, cross validate with the data here, so that you will you will be able to understand. Okay. Okay, why 15 in the fulfillment quantity? Supriya's question. So here the ordered quantity is five, right? So what happened here? Mm, In this case, um, okay. Uh, okay, what I will do is better, I will put order ID also here. So here the order ID I just selected here. Oh my God! So I got it grows like you know, when she times like hell, and uh, all of a sudden it pumps with so many columns. Something like uh, the corporation bus. Let's move this up here, and then better I will remove the product description. And if you see here, the order ID. Right, so two items, right? 15 items ordered, 15 they ship. And in the order ID, 1002, they ordered six, but only five they ship. Remaining one, they are to ship. And 1003, they ordered five, but none of them got shipped here. I just go back quickly here, and then uh, 100, 
three order ID one zero zero three is there, but here it is it is not at all there, right? The order ID. But when you go to the order fact table, one zero zero three is there, five is there. But the same record is not available in my fulfillment table. So that you know, with that, uh, you know, it's a clearly um, it's clear evidence that uh, you know the order ID one zero three they have not yet shipped. Right? This is possible because you are able to create the uh, many to many relationship. But here uh, the single cross filter direction was single, wherein we have uh, instructed Power BI to use the order fact table to filter the fulfillment table, not the back. That is not the requirement. Okay, so many to many. But if you want to give additional context, you can use the product uh, dimension table to this one. But the best practice suggested by Microsoft is use a bridge table between the many to many table. Okay, so you need to you have to use many to you have to use a bridge table here. That is the best practice. But without using the bridge table, is it possible to do the filtering um, in the case of many to many? Table? Yes, that is possible. The interview you can tell this one is a tricky question. Usually, many to many tables we use a bridge table. But we have a requirement like an order fact table and fulfillment table. We have two tables and we want to use the order ID from my order fact table to filter my fulfillment table because each order, um, the shipment can happen at different point in time. Okay, So in that case, uh, in our report, we need to showcase uh, each order, how much items ordered uh, by the customer and how much we ship. Okay, Full ordered quantity. Versus fulfillment point, they want to see it in a single table. You know. So for that, you are directly created. So here you don't have to have a bridge table, but that is not the best practices. The best practice always have a bridge table. In the case of many to many relationships, so that your report will be very robust. So this concludes the many to many relationship. We discussed two different scenarios, right?